uh, this is 2022 KCSE Mathematics Paper 2 question number 20 and we are told uh, in the diagram below the vertices of triangle ABC are A03 B 4.56 and C 10.50 point P 35 so we have A, B and C we have point P 35 and Q is 9 and 1.5 right on lines AB this is line AB and BC respectively uh, so part A find AQ so this is the line AQ uh, so that is the line AQ we are supposed to find that line to be able to find that line then uh, it means that uh, we can describe uh, a to move from a to q you can follow uh, a c followed by c q so it is equal to uh, a c uh, plus c q and because we have been given the coordinates of uh, of uh, the a and a c and q then what it means is that uh, we can get AC is equals to uh, AC. We say, we say it is. Uh, we take the coordinates of uh, C that is uh, ten point five uh, and ten point five and zero, and the coordinates of A we have zero uh, and uh, three. Uh, that is we minus. Uh, let's correct that. Uh, we put the brackets here and we minus uh, 0 3 so when you minus that you'll be able to get 10.5 minus 0 is 10.5 and uh, 0 minus 3 is minus 3 so that is ac uh, so for, then we calculate uh, let's find uh, cq uh, cq we take the coordinates of q uh, so we say uh, CQ, we take the coordinates of Q, uh, which is uh, 9 and 1.5, 9, 1.5, we write it in column form, that is position vector a OQ minus uh, the coordinates of C, that is 10.5, uh, 10.5, uh, and uh, we have 10.5, uh, and then we have uh, 0. You close the bracket so when you get that uh, we can uh, extend this line so that we get a uh, space there uh, you you get this is uh, uh, 9 minus 10.5 that will give you minus 1.5 and uh, this other one you'll be able to get 1.5 minus 0 and that will give you 1.5 uh, so we can now come and uh, continue here we say aq we have found that is we have uh, AC uh, AC we have found it is 10.5 uh, minus 3 and uh, you add to minus 1.5 and 1.5 so when you add that you'll be able to get uh, this is 10.5 uh, so that 10.5 minus plus minus 1.5 that will give you 9 and uh, 3 plus 1.5 that is minus 1.5 so that is the vector aq so a to move from a to q uh, we can demonstrate that uh, from a to q the, the, uh, not that uh, but uh, a to q uh, you can follow this line uh, you can come to a so a, a C and then followed by that so that's how you work with vectors and uh, you have uh, we have uh, obtained the vector uh, aq so cp where is our cp uh, this is uh, this is p and this is c uh, to get cp uh, we can go to we can go to c, uh, c a uh, the, or to get to CP, you can get uh, 
that is uh, all CP is the same as uh, uh, minus OC uh, that is uh, CP is equals to minus OC uh, plus OP so this is is going to give us uh, OP uh, minus uh, OC and because we have the coordinates of C and P uh, we just say this is OC is the same as 10.5 uh, uh, not uh, not OC but OP OP is the same as 4.5 and uh, the other one is 6 uh, you minus o <coughs> OC which is 10.5 and we say this is the other one is zero so when you minus 4.5 minus minus 10.5 that will give uh what is i think here we have made a mistake uh so let's correct that op uh this is equals op is three and uh, five that those are the, co the coordinates of coordinates of p are three five so position vector is 3 5 so 3 minus 10.5 that will give you minus 7.5 and uh, 0 minus 5 that will give you 5 so that those are the uh, that is the vector CP uh, AQ and CP so by doing that you get a mark so you don't need to arrange all this you can just uh, get CP get op and oc and rework it out you can write it directly to this or you can just get the values and you can work it out you still be able to get uh, correct, uh, the correct the full mark uh, then we have uh, line aq and cp intersect at x so we have our x there cx this is cx is equals to <coughs> k so if this is k cp it means this is one minus k so that when you add both of them one minus k plus k it becomes one uh, then uh, cx and uh, that is ax is equal so this is ax is equals to maq so it means this one is m and this part here is one minus m uh, so that when you add it is complete line uh, determine the values of k and m uh, uh, that is where k and m are scalars by expressing ox in two different ways determine the values of k and m and you get six marks now for us to be able to we need to we, to express ox in, in two ways we can say the first one uh, we have ox so this is our we can actually put our vector here uh, ox like that uh, so to move to to move to ox then uh, we say that is a vector ox so position vector now to be able to do to move from ox we can move to ox ox in two ways uh, so we can say to move from o to x we go to oc so we can say it is oc a plus uh, cx but we are told cx is the same as cx is equals to k cp uh, and therefore uh, another way that is that is one route we can follow using the to, to move to uh, to ox so we follow that uh, we follow that route uh, just do it properly we follow that route there and we go this way so that's how we argue the other one is uh, we we can uh, we can follow uh, we can follow OA and move to X so those are two ways we can so we can say uh, o or OX is equals to OX is equals to uh, OA plus uh, AX and AX is equals to M -A -M -A -Q. okay so that's how we express that uh, so 
This means that since we are OC we can get it is 10.5 10.5 and 0 so that is our OC just taking the position vector just taking the coordinates of C and uh, arranging it in column form we add a K our CP we had already calculated up here uh, so this is CP so we say it is minus 7.5 minus 7.5 and 5 uh, uh, which now when you compute that uh, you should be able to get 10.5 uh, uh, you get it is 10.5 plus uh, or you say you use minus because uh, of seven, minus 7.5 7.5 K uh, then you have uh, 0 plus 5k so that is the uh, that is the, the vector aq uh, we come to the other side uh, we also say oa we have the coordinates of of a we get the position vector oa uh, you add to our maq we already have uh, our aq so we say it is m our aq here we got it is 9 minus 1.5 so this will give you 0 minus 0 plus 9m so that is 9m and the other one is 3 plus uh, 3 plus uh, you, get, you use minus because of negative 1.5 minus 1.5m uh, so that is it uh, okay uh, this means that uh, since we have expressed uh, ox in two ways it means that uh, these two are the same so we say 10.5 uh, minus 7.5 k should be equals to 9 uh, 3 the, uh, and this here we have 5 k uh, should be equals to uh, 3 minus 1.5 m so you can now be able to solve this uh, uh, so here we have uh, uh, so this is a uh, this is a uh, 10 point and this is 5 so with that uh, we can be able uh, this is uh, this is 5k so with that we can be able to uh, because of this here we have a uh, k uh, with those two we can come up with uh, two simultaneous equation uh, which I got it is uh, you can now say it is uh, when you rearrange them you get 9m plus 5k uh, is equals to 10.5 and you also get uh, uh, 1.5m you rearrange this and you come up with the simultaneous equation plus uh, uh, this should be let's correct this Uh, this should be uh, 9 plus 9m plus 7.5k uh, is equals to 10.5 we have 1.5m uh, plus 5k is equals to uh, is equals to we are getting 3 so you can also uh, this two and uh, you find uh, you'll be able to find once you solve these two simultaneous equations, you find uh, that uh, m is equal. You, you find uh, I found uh, my m uh, started with k, so k I got it is one over three, and m I got m I got uh, eight over nine, eight over nine. So those are the values of m and k once you solve this simultaneous equation because i don't have enough space but i hope you you remember how you you learned this in form two solving a simultaneous equation uh, is not difficult the difficult part was this part being able to express ox in two ways and coming up with the two these two ways which you equate because we are expressing the same vector so that you are able to solve m and k then we have Roman number two determine the exact coordinates of uh, coordinates of x uh, so we have x here because we have found m 
we can say uh, then OX is equals to uh, we had expressed uh, OX as a uh, we can use a 9M so 9 and we have found that uh, M is equals to uh, 8 over 9 we have M here and the other one the denominator is 3 minus uh, we have found uh, 1.5 M so 1.5 so it is 1.5 you multiply by 8 over 9 so when you so that should give you uh, the position vector of OX and once you get the position vector then uh, it is easier you should be able to to get the coordinates of X so when you work out this 9 and 9 will cancel so you get 8 uh, this you get uh, uh, 3 uh, minus, you can use your calculator and uh, compute that minus 1 and a third so you find uh, uh, that should give you what uh, 8 and this is 1 and 2 over 3 uh, so meaning that uh, coordinates of x are 8 and uh, 1 and 2 over 3 so that is how you get the coordinates of P. and by getting to that stage then it means you have answered the whole question correctly you should be able to get 10 marks so this is 2 marks 6 marks uh, those are 8 plus 2 you get uh, 10 marks